Hi, my name is Gary Fish, author of the journal Yes, Men Do Cry. This is part five of a six part presentation on selected contents from the journal. If you're interested in finding out more information, please visit my website at yesmendocry.com. Thank you. Sharing in the future hopefully is possible. Sharing, I hope I can do it again, as it's hard to share when you're alone. The next two entries were on July, uh, in January, 16 months onto the journey. And I think it might have been preparing me for having, for the next step in the journey, for having the guts to ask a woman out, and maybe not just for dinner. Oh, booby, booby, booby. This explains it all. I want you back so much, you fully understand this is a fantasy. Even though lately, I think of you constantly. It must be my way of handling or trying to my hurt. Thinking of the good times, wanting the good times, knowing that now they have to come for what I make. Round and round we go. It's an intriguing web we weave ourselves. The web breaks, so I have to spin a new one. This I will continue to do until I make the web so strong <clears throat> that I will feel safe, feel confident with myself. If I don't continue to feel confident, I'm screwed. It's 12.45, time to go home alone. Yeah, that should make you all feel sorry for me. I'm not sorry for me. I'm just pissed off at myself. 23 and a half more hours, and it will be another day for my life will be wrong. <clears throat> the next poem I read at my brother's funeral uh, in New Zealand. I wrote it the night before. His death brought back memories and made life as precious and joy than any I call it the candle. Night has fallen. You're engulfed by darkness. The city lights glow in the distance. They show there is light beyond the window. But you're alone. You feel down. You are sad. You light the candle, one by one. The flames, they dance. They reach for the sky. Each burns differently, all individual. They give you light. They give you warmth. They give you strength. But just like life, the flame will die. When will that be? No one can tell. Until the flame died, dies, it will give its best to light the darkness. So, just like the candle, do not give up until you can breathe no more. Be down, be sad, but keep the flame burning, as we are like the candle, burning to die. Seventeen months into the journey was March 2002. Still feeling as though I'm just floating like a feather in the wind. Like the feather, I don't know where I will land. It's as, though, it's as though I have no control, but I know for sure this is not so. I'm in complete control. It's me allowing myself to be in this state. I want companionship so much, but I'm scared. I want to touch, explore, and feel someone <coughs> selfishly for my own needs. But it's something I need to happen because I have to justify to myself that I can love again. Or is it simply that somebody may want me? April the 16th, 18 months along. I think I'm beginning to feel I would be okay if I'm alone. Yet being with someone would be nice. Hey, the brain's great. I'm hedging the bets on that one. <laughs> I think I can now see the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't think it's a mirage. And this is how things change quickly when you least expect. This is a big one. I've felt in my mind that a relationship would help. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, I've been seeing Liette, who was the first since you. Another woman after 25 years and not just going out for dinner. <laughs> I feel so bad. Why? Because I'm a bloody idiot. The first doesn't have to be the one. I needed this big time to hold someone, to love someone. But now it's available, I'm beating myself up over it. Liette, yes, she also has lost her husband. See, a woman seems to need what a man needs in this process also. They also need to hold, love, and feel wanted. Why the hell wouldn't they? It seems as though the only thing that is different from when we were young is that now we cut right to the chase. We realize time is short, and if we can't say what we think, then maybe there's no future in this relationship. Uh, one of the first things I said when I ever met a woman even if it was just over coffee and not just talking to a woman. 
is to let them know that I have two gay kids. Because if they don't approve, I wouldn't waste my time, as nothing will ever come between me and my kids. Well, this was Liette's response after I told her I have a daughter who is gay, and she said, so? <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'm the brownie scale, you know, this is maybe a five out of ten here, that's promising. <laughs> then I said, I always have a gun. That's <laughs> a gun. <laughs> then, then, I said, then I said, I also have a son, and she said, is he a drag queen? <laughs> I said, no, but he is gay also. And we continued to have a great evening. So right from the first meeting, we had showed promise. And then she was raking up points here. It was good. <laughs> I've come a hell of a long way. I had a journey, my journey to complete. There was no turning back. This is my life, and I'm doing it my way. If I find someone new, you will always be there. Yes, I can move forward with you occupying part of my unconscious mind. Two years on, this is October the 17th, and in case you've forgotten, that was the day before the second anniversary. And it's interesting, it's six months since the last entry. So much has happened since I last wrote. I've completely focused myself, that's my, I, I, I have been completely focused on myself and my unfolding and developing relationship with Leah. She officially moved in. And this here, yeah, yeah professionals will have a heyday with that one the day before the second anniversary. And it just happened. It wasn't, no professional can explain why it happened. Either. Yes, it has been about my rebirth. I like that. Me finding me. Remember, way back I said I had to find me as an individual. I think I had to find myself confidence. Well, a lot has happened. From you dying, to me grieving, grieving my way, me re-emerging, feeling confident with my decisions, and most of all, feeling good about life. I am beginning to laugh again. Looking back, it seemed impossible for me. I loved you so much, I couldn't imagine life without you. You're still so close to me, you're so far away. But yet, appeared unexpectedly, and yes, I can love again. <laughs> 